Hey, Morgan here, and today I'm going to show you how to do a jump cut. Don't know what a jump cut is? Well, it's pretty much this. I'm so happy, so happy, so happy. What's this? My laptop has transformed into a puppy. Got it? Good. Now, I'm using Sony Vegas for this tutorial, but don't flip out if you don't have that. While the buttons you press may be different from program to program, the concept is still the same and you'll be able to figure it out. But for now, let's focus on Sony Vegas because that's what I have. So you want to make sure you have your raw clip already in the timeline. This is what my clip looks like without the jump cut. I'm so happy, so happy, so happy! What's this? My laptop has transformed into a puppy! Now in an actual professional video, jump cutting is really bad. It seems unnatural. But in a simple vlog or a YouTube comedy, it's fine. As long as you do it right, of course. This clip is really boring without a jump cut, so I'll teach you how to do it. Don't worry, it's really simple. So find the point where you want the jump cut to be. I want it to be about here. So we're going to make sure that we have it in the right spot. So I'm going to cut off some of my words to make it look like I am leaping from one scene to the other. I realize this is really unprofessional, but I don't really care about that because it's a vlog and I'm not going for a professional look. Now in Sony Vegas, all you have to do to split a track is press the S key. And that happens. Now you have two new tracks. Now on the new track, you can just skip through all the stuff you don't want. And you can either hit the S key again or take the edge and trim it all the way up to this thing. And you have the second part. What's this? My laptop has transformed into a puppy. <gasps> now here's a tip. You want to make sure that there's audio at the start of both tracks to make it seem really smooth. It may not seem like much, but once you, but you can actually hear the difference once you do it. It just makes everything seem a lot smoother when you have audio on both ends. Now when you're satisfied, all you have to do is take this clip and drag it over to this one so that they're touching. And now, look at what you have. I'm so happy, so happy, so happy! What's this? My laptop has transformed into a puppy! And there you have it, a perfect jump cut. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. If you have any other thing besides Sony Vegas, such as Windows Movie Maker, iMovie, Final Cut, I won't be able to help you because I've never used any of those programs. I've used Windows Movie Maker before, but I don't remember how it works. But there's really no difference. All you have to do is know how to split the track. It's not really hard to figure out. It's a really basic thing. So yeah, I hope I was able to help some people out with this small little tutorial. I hope I didn't bore you too much. You can thumbs up, subscribe if you like the video, but you don't have to, of course. So yeah, have fun editing. Bye!